How's it going guys? Interesting topic today. You may remember that last year the Playground Games creative director actually left the company along with a fair amount of other employees at Playground Games. They left to create their own game studio from scratch. Now there's been a recent announcement regarding that new game studio who they're partnering with and what type of game they're making. It's interesting because the game that they are saying that they're going to make is definitely what we all want to see. So we're going to talk about it today, see what we can maybe expect from this new open world racing game by X Forza Horizon 5 devs. It could be interesting. Let's read into what they have to say, what we can expect and what the deal is. And are Forza Horizon about to get a pretty large competitor open world driving game rival? Let's have a look. Just to very quickly recap, these fellas left the left player on games last year in around January, so it's been well over a year. Um, the announcement was made pretty publicly. Playground Games leaders form new AAA studio, Maverick Games. That is what their studio is called. Playground Games is Horizon. Maverick Games is their new studio. Bit of a statement here. This is one of their first statements when they first sort of announced the new studio. We can see that it's Mike Gra Mac Brown, who was the creative director of Forza Horizon. There were other Playground Games veterans like Tom Butcher and all of the other people named. So there's definitely some very high value people within this new studio, which makes me very interested to see what they're going to create. Now, what's the latest announcement that they have made regarding their new studio and what they're doing? Well, they have partnered with Amazon Games. Amazon Games announced today that they have struck a deal with Maverick Games for a narrative led open world driving game, which is set to release on PC, PlayStation, PlayStation 5 and Xbox, so it's not going to be an Xbox and PC exclusive like Forza is, it's coming to PlayStation 5 as well. Now what do they have to say about their open world driving game? We founded Maverick Games with a clear vision to build a developer first studio that would foster on environment of creativity and risk taking. This has been a big thing that Mike Brown has consistently said since opening the studio, that they want to encourage risk taking. Now I'm not entirely sure how it's going to translate to what kind of game we're going to get, but I don't know, I trust Mike Brown enough to think that he's going to produce something good here. We can see the rest of the statement here, but a few of the key things to point on is they're pretty keen on telling us that we are going to love this game. You know, ultimately that means we are creating a game that our players are going to fall in love with. It's a big statement. And interestingly, this is going to be a triple A title as well. If you know what a tri if you don't know what a triple A title is, different games have different titles kind of thing. You get indie games. Indie games are usually made from independent studios of a small group of people, like the games you see on screen, Firewatch, etc, etc. Then you get double A games. These are kind of in the middle. They're not quite a massive title. They're a relative relatively moderately sized studio and then you've got triple a games now triple a titles are pretty much the biggest you get these are fortnite call of duty apex legends you know the the, the biggest a game can kind of get that's what a triple a title is they usually have the biggest budget the biggest development team the biggest everything and that is what maverick games are actually managing to produce so it's going to be a big game it's not going to be a mini sort of side game it's a full-size game that will be competing with forza horizon if it's an overworld driving driving game it certainly made me very intrigued about what we should expect now as i said there's a few things that mike brown has consistently mentioned about what this game is going to be like and it's very interesting let's have a look at what he has to say they're making a very big point on this game being a narrative led driving game open world driving game now what do they mean by that Helping with the narrative-led portion of the game is lead writer Jamie Britton, who co-created Channel 4's era-defining Naughty's teen drama Skins. Mike Brown said that his knack for creating characters who are flawed and actually a bit weird, just like the rest of us, will come through in the game's story. Lots of great driving games have amazing gameplay, amazing content. Brown said. But to really cross that bridge, to become a game that people genuinely love, which is what he seems to say that we're going to be we're going to love this game apparently, then there needs to be a human connection where you're actually rooting for these characters, falling in love with these characters. That I think is a place where our game will really be able to differentiate itself from other titles in the genre. Interesting, so they're making a big point about the storyline, the characters, the human connection, the narrative-led storyline being a big part of this game, which really intrigues me of how they're going to implement this into an open world driving game because Lots of people want certain things about an open world driving game. I personally want 
as many cars as possible, great locations, great roads, lots of things to do, lots of good customization, being able to buy things, you know what I mean? That's what I like from an open world driving game. I don't really know how much I want to enjoy the characters. I don't really know. That's what I want out of an open world driving game, but maybe the majority is different to me. I'm curious what you guys think. Does this sound intriguing to you? There's so many questions, you know, what kind of licenses are they gonna be able to get? If it's a AAA title, they're probably gonna be able to get some pretty good licenses. So we can expect some, we can presume that they're gonna be real life manufacturers in this game. I'm gonna presume that. Is it gonna be a real life location or a fictional location? I don't know, this game is years away, like many, many years away. We will likely be well into Horizon 6 by the time that this game is out. I have no doubt about that. So we're not gonna think about what cars and what kind of location this game's gonna have. But it's interesting. It's nice to see that someone who is so clued up with how Forza Horizon works, and especially it being the creative director as well, Mike, having been the creative director of Horizon 5 and working on the previous Horizons as well, he will have a bit of an idea of what the community actually wants. He will have seen the statistics and the numbers behind the scenes of Forza. And he may, I don't want to say he might use them to his advantage, but he's got a lot of knowledge in terms of open world driving games. Yes, lots of people say he made terrible decisions for Horizon 5. It's not just him, it's a joint effort, it's a whole team. But Mike, and all everyone else in that, if for that matter, are very valuable for Maverick Games. And I've got a lot of hope that whatever they're creating, they know factually that there's a lot of people out there that are going to like it. So hopefully, us lot, or some of them people, hopefully it's going to be good. Amazon are rooting for them. They want them to really foster an environment of creativity and risk taking. Hopefully the risks they take are good risks. When you put all the pieces together, these guys left Playground Games. The creative director stepped down from a very high position. That says something in itself. And he's took a huge risk to open his own game studio and make his own game. He's obviously got a lot of ideas and a lot of things that he wants to execute that he couldn't do back at Playground Games. And it's not like Forza Horizon is a failed game now it's performing incredibly well so he left a, a thriving game to make his own game i'm interested to see what he's cooking with the way that they are saying that they want to encourage risk taking i'm sure there's lots of ideas lots of things that they've wanted to do that they couldn't do black at playground games and the only way that they could do that is by making their own game so have at it mike we're all supporting you just please make sure it's a good game we don't really mind how long it takes it may be a very long time till we get any more information on it but what we can know is that there is a new Forza horizon competitor game in the works right now even though it's probably many years away i'll keep you guys up to date whenever we get news about this game or the studio in general leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone and i'll see you all later